Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video today, we're going to be touching up on last week's Throwback Thursday video. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what Throwback Thursday is, it's essentially where I'm taking some content which I found on hard drives, which I've either live streamed or recorded, and I've never uploaded it, I've never edited it into a shorter video. So, essentially, this video is a follow-up to last Thursday's video, where I was working on a PS5. The PS5 in question was sent to me by a customer and he'd been scammed on eBay. So basically, I ended up buying the console because it just wasn't viable to repair from a customer standpoint. There was just too many errors involved, too much work, too many parts, and yeah, it was just gonna cost way more than the console was worth. But of course, me being a technician, my time is free. So all it technically costs me is the parts. So. What I did was I bought the console off the customer, I gave him what he paid for it, I think it was £150. But I gave the customer what he paid for it so he would break even, he didn't lose anything apart from the postage uh, you know, that he cost him to send me, but in exchange I did give him a free repair, or a free labour on a repair. So basically, this console, it was originally sold on eBay as a no power, uh, sorry, as a no display and I got the console and it was complete no power. So I got to the point in the last video where I tracked down a short to the South Bridge, which is it's a chip which controls the input and output devices, such as the USB ports, Ethernet, that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's a very expensive chip. It costs, I think, at the time it was about £15, but then once once we actually started replacing these and we started putting videos out, they doubled in price to over £30. Yeah, it sucks, I know, but the price to pay for getting information out there. It is unfortunate. But I finished the video just as I was about to take that safe bridge off because it was just going on for way too long. The video was over 40 minutes long, I couldn't get it any shorter, so I decided to do it for Throwback Tuesday. Tuesday comes along, I'm way too busy to edit the video. Didn't get a chance to edit it over the, over the weekend. So I had to put out a different video on Tuesday. There was no, uh, there was a throwback Tuesday video, but it wasn't of that console. So this is going to be part two of that throwback Thursday video. But, but <laughs> there is a but, and it's a very big one. But I didn't even finish the repair on this live stream, the live stream that I'm working on this console in. I ended up doing it the next night because it still needed more work and that live stream in question had gone on for five and a half hours. I've just looked and that live stream as well had gone on to for three and a half hours. So I really, really hope that I can get nine hours of footage down to three videos. I really, really hope I can. Uh, so I'm definitely going to put the next episode on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to edit it tonight and then get it ready for Tuesday. I'm going to put it on early access for my uh, channel members and Twitch supporters and Patreon supporters as well. Um, and then I'm going to release it on Tuesday. So yeah, I'll stop rambling now. With that being said, if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. If you do want to organise a repair, you can check me out at consolefix.co.uk. You can book in the repair. You can get in touch if you've got a question about the repair as well. So with that being said, enjoy the video. And first of all, a message from today's sponsor. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor, but hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Coded Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can, which is why we're proud to talk to you about consolefix.shop, a great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money-grabbing YouTuber. What happened to this PS5? It was completely destroyed by a buffoon. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. It was completely destroyed by a buffoon. So what I plan to do here is just remove this safe bridge and uh, confirm whether or not that short disappears. This takes longer when I'm doing it under the microscope, by the way. 
That's almost ready. That were meant to happen. It's all good. Right, okay. So there's the old safe bridge. Right, so I'm just going to replace the solder on here with some leaded solder and then wick it away so as I know for a fact there's no shorts. And then I'm going to check and see if that short has gone. Well, I don't need to wick it away, but I may as well because it's got to be wicked away before I replace it anyway. All right, that's clean. So I know now that the pads are not going to cause any kind of uh, issues. So let me just see whether or not this is still shorted. So I'll grab the multimeter. I'm going to pop it into continuity mode so as we can hear it. Uh, let me just clean this flux off. So if this clears this short now, then we know that this this area being shorted can be the safe bridge. So it was this pad here. So give me a ground that you guys can see. There, there we go. Yep. That short's gone. It was the safe bridge. What's the resistance value on that now? It was, or it is, 7,000 ohms, which is absolutely spot on. 100% confirmed the safe bridge is bad, which means I'm going to need to attempt to replace it. All right, so I'm going to make use of this board from the PS5 I couldn't fix last week. Nice, shiny safe bridge. I'm going to do this without the microscope because I want to use a lower temperature. Yeah, so I want to use a lower temperature for removing this chip. I don't want to risk damaging it. Okay. Replacement removed. And that is now officially a donor board. I was going to revisit that, but nah. I think the plan for this, because this is going to take a while, I mean it's 12.34am now, I do have school runs to do in the morning, so I think the plan for this is just to try and confirm that it turns on, and then worry about everything else on the next stream, I'll do it on a stream, I won't do it on uh, a video, I'll do it on a stream, probably tomorrow night, maybe, um, but I think the main thing tonight is just to reball this and then... Because obviously there's still a lot to do on it, even if I get it working. So I think the main the main thing to do on this is just to get it, try and get it working. It's pointless doing anything else until I actually get it working. So I might as well at least just uh, reball this, put the safe bridge on, see if it turns on. If it turns on, great. Carry on with it in the next stream. The main goal of this is just to get it to power on.
go. I'm not going to worry about cleaning that flux off. It's fine, pin one. I believe it's that way. Yep. Okay. Actually, it might be best to clean that flux off. It's gone a little bit hard. All right. Just add some fresh. There we go. It's a bit out of focus. I'll sort that out now. There we go. I felt that lock in. Ah, you fuck. So see how that doesn't move when I wiggle it? The reason for that is because the solder balls themselves are biting onto the board. I knocked down to 20% airflow, 440 degrees Celsius. Do not want to see this chip move. Okay, I saw that drop. So, when that cools down, it should be locked into place. I did compare pin number one, by the way. So, we've got a dot there and an arrow there. Tells me where it's going to go. Add some more flux. Go to 40% airflow. And then I can flow this down fully. Okay, it's pushing itself back out. There we go. I just dropped. There we go. Give the chip a nudge. And done. For the purposes of testing, and this is exactly why the other motherboard had thermal paste on it, but for the purposes of testing, liquid metal is... It's not, it's not expensive, but it's expensive enough. So, for the purposes of testing, I'm going to put thermal paste on. And not only that, you're going to see just how cheap I am. Because the Nintendo Switch, which I took a shitload of thermal paste off a couple of days ago, I'm reusing that shit. Because I scraped it all up onto my uh, solder paste spreader. So, boom. Second hand thermal paste. Look at that. But it'll be enough to. Test the console. Oh yeah. Beautiful mate. Looks new. It was. It was. Um which is why I didn't mind replacing it. Uh which is why I didn't mind uh, reusing it. But yeah. Oh I'm such a cheapo. Yeah, I'm gonna put these couple of components back on. The ones that I took off to start with, I can see them. They might be small, but I know where I put them. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, there we go. One component, two component, three component, four. Five component, six big component, seven component more. I just don't know how you're supposed to know what's ground. Um, do you mean on components or the board? Check short. No, I'm putting these components back on first. I'm being so lazy right now. I'm going to make the hot air do all the way. Oi. You better get back on your pads. This is like a... 
half ass solving attempt like check is that. Eh. Ah, now you son of a bitch. All right, I'll, I'll I'll actually I'll actually attempt to do my job as that. There you go. Them components are back on. One probe on ground. So that's ground. Yay, no short. Waka waka waka. Melting Toby, thank you. Thank you for uh, subscribing on Twitch. I appreciate it, right? This is an incredible mess. I'm going to get people telling me to tidy it, but fun. Look at that. Ooh, lovely mess. <laughs> I'll put thermal pasta on for now. And I'm going to use a non good housing. That's already got more thermal pasta on. Look at that. Yay. Can't, I'm not going to give a display or anything like that, but it's fine. This is the moment of truth. Is this going to turn on? More to the point, even if it does turn on, is it going to go to a white light? Please turn on. Come on. Yes. Yes, let's go. Is it going to have a white light? Shut up, multimeter, you prick. Come on, white light. Come on, white light. Come on, white light. Come on, white light. Yes, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Fixed. Boom. Roasted. I'm holding that um, APU on there just to make, it, make sure it stays cool. Bear in mind, we've got no, no way of cancelling the sign or anything. Yeah, the three beeps of life. That's what I'm talking about. First try. I'll see if you plug in the screen too. Can't, mate. No HDMI port. Even with the buttered chip. Now put the HDMI port on it. Not tonight, mate. No. It's got a white light. We know it works. I'll stream this tomorrow night. I promise I won't touch it till tomorrow night. So, as you've just seen, that was an awful lot of work to actually get that console to even turn on. Like I said, the live stream that I did this repair on, I ended it here and essentially I had to do it the next night because it was just going on for too long. Uh, you know, I have school runs and things that I have to do every day and when I live stream on, for example, a Monday, I've got to get up at 7 o'clock on the Tuesday morning to actually uh, take the kids to school and because I work mainly at night, because I've got kids, it's kind of catch 22. I can only stream for, you know, like four, five, six hours at a time. So I had to end it there. But like I said, I will definitely edit that video for Throwback Tuesday. So make sure you get subscribed for that and turn on the bell notifications as well. Make sure you click on the all notifications thing, whatever the hell it is. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Don't forget to shop at consolefix.shop as well. We like to take your money. Bye for now.